go. So um, this is my, this one's not actually too bad. This is my sparkle drawer. Um, um, oh, little, these aren't sparkles. Um, but yeah, all kind of loose bits here and there. So that is um, sparkle supplies drawer. This one is a mess. This is my Charlie's drawer. Um, don't look Charlie because yeah, you'll have a have a I don't know a fit. Um, all these are from my recent haul, which I haven't even decanted yet, and I I knew I was going to do this video. Um, so that's why I left them. I've also got a big pot under there, which is all my like seasonal stuff. Um, so all of these have got to go in a bag as well. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. It's just such a mess. I mean, like my lids keep unraveling and I keep losing glitter. So I think uh, I'll be better off in bags and I'll be able to see them better myself. I know that sounds like really daft. But it's easier to grab a folder and flick through rather than, I don't know, pull things out, having to put them back in and all that. So, yeah, this is that's they're all going to go in a bag. That's what I've decided because um, I've got like lots of others from different companies as well. And I never get to see them or use them. I've got all my I, um, it's such a mess um sparkles um crystals I've got my crystals in here it just really needs a good tidy up so this is the uh folder that i'm going to purchase for my glitters at some point um which will be then the same as my foils so you know it's just easy i think you know my customers say oh can i have a look at your foils which is great, but they never say, can I have a look at your glitters? So in that fact, I can get them both out at the same time. It's like, oh, have a look at my glitters as well. Try and coax them into having like something different. Um, this is just like all my stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Or, um, brushes, that's the word. Stuff. In here, there's all different gels. I've got Madame Glam in here. I've got Neo got all my stamping stuff which i do want to put into a drawer of their own because i've got um something else coming so uh from another company um and that'll be in a different video uh yeah just it's just messy i don't know like my foils not my foils uh my leaf i've got like my glues my transfer glue yeah, it's just literally a bit of everything in this drawer. So um, that's just, you just need a good tidy up. This is an absolute junk drawer where I just throw anything. But it's got my stamping stuff in here. So we do want to put, tidy this up and get all my stamping stuff in this drawer. And that will free up some extra stuff in this one. Um, yeah, dozens of it's just everything is like all my swatch sticks just a dumping ground in there so and I can't even remember what's in it so that needs a really good sort out and then in this bottom one here I won't go into it but this is my clients uh, stuff so I have their record card in there their name on it their foils uh, their foils their files um, yeah and all that sort of stuff so um that's what is in there the rest of my desk is just a tip but i will tidy up there's no point in tidying that up um because it will need tidying up after i've done all the glitters because that's just going to make a right mess isn't it so um here like on my wall i just go through there's all my gel bottle my sink where the clients can wash their hands i do have lots of little hand I just call them face cloths, but I get them to wash their hands and then they can go straight in the wash. Um, yeah, so all my gel bottle and stuff here, and I've got a bit of Hana um, because I am tempted to convert to Hana. Uh, it won't be an overnight thing because it's just so expensive, and I've spent an absolute fortune on this lot. Um, but with all this 
stuff that's going on in the media about nails and everybody well not everybody a lot of people are reacting and I think it's just because you get more home users now than anything if I'm honest but I have reacted myself um my nails are in a mess uh you can't see on the glove but you can see a little bit so I've had to take off my gel and yeah they're very weak um so I need to get them back to some kind of health and then I will be trying the Hona on my own nails uh, to see if I get any further reactions. So yeah, I'm really gutted, but that is how it goes sometimes. Um, and for like myself, I generally do mine every two weeks, um, which is probably not helpful really. So yeah, anyway... Over there is like lots of glitters and some of the swatches of foils that I've done. So they will now come off the wall because I just hate them. They look untidy. Um, um, so then they'll go into a folder and then all that will be on there then is just my gel polish swatches. So that'll be that. So do you know what? Let's crack on because this video is going to be awfully long. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to shut up and put you back up in the air. And let's uh, do a time lapse. Right, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this. I'm hoping I can take the stickers off gently and, um, yeah, pop them back on. That way I know what company they have come from. Um, I think this is going to be more awkward than I envisaged to begin with. But at least going forward, if I buy them, they'll already be in bags. So I won't need to... If I put one on the front and one on the back. For instance. Like so. And I'm going to make it a right blinking mess. Just know it. ready to go oh, well, I didn't even check to see I'm going to organise them in colours so I'm not going to put them in but I do think they will fit yeah that'll be fine just need a good rummage around and yeah that should be alright I don't know how many is in here to be fair I know it's not going to be enough I have got some more folders but I will invest in the bigger one later on um, yeah right and then I'm going to get a box just to shovel them in. Thank you. 
Ich habe das nicht mehr
right okay guys this is me done this seems to have taken forever it's been like i don't know over a week since i started this video <laughs> so and i'm waiting for the folder because the other one just didn't work but i've got put them in some kind of order of color um as you can see here i'm just flicking through quickly no sort of you know lights to darks or anything like that it's just blues pages green pages yellow pages you know all that sort of stuff and then towards the end these are the shapes and dots and mylars and flakes in here and just seasonal stuff basically so i've put them towards the back it does make this fold out really really chunky um <laughs> but hey it was so worth doing i think i much prefer it um this way than in pots Okay, guys, so this is the top drawer. I've still got my seasonal stuff. No, just bits and bobs in there, basically. Um, this will hold my foils. This one has got my pigments in. A bit more glitter that I didn't want to decant into um, bags, because uh, I do like the Tears Beauty bottles. Uh, I've got my gel paints my gel pot hard gel and i've got my brown pretty stuff as well some cjp gel paints some inks from model ones that's that drawer so this now holds all my glitters so that is that and i'll leave that in there as well I need that. and then in this one i've got my leaf flowers um the wheels that's what them <laughs> them um stripy tape all my um decals all my stickers in here all my crystals here with my rhinestone glue these are really old which i use to take off any crystals i need to and then oh, in the bottom drawer it's literally just my tips and then moving over this side i haven't made any changes to the top drawer or the second drawer because that's just fine as it is and then this is all my extra gels from mayo or madam glam my foil gels so i've actually come across a bit more top coat as well so i don't have to buy any yay me um, in here I've got my acrylic just take that out there. I've got acrylic paints in there as well and that is just bits and bobs that I don't really use but I'm a bit of a hoarder and then here I've managed to organise the display tips I've got just normal um, now polish here all my stampers now are here and my stamping polish is here with my stamping jellies yeah, so I'm happy with that. The bottom drawer is still my customer's um, client stuff. And this is the whole box of the 10 mil what you call them? Them. <laughs> so I'm going to give these a really good wash and I will um, isopropyl alcohol them to get them really clean and then I'll just sell them on. So that is everything. My desk is still a mess, so we won't go through that because I haven't done that yet. But this video is awfully long. So I am leaving it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't liked this video, please do so. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing. Don't, I won't do it again anytime soon. <laughs> Once is enough. Um, yeah. Oh good, happy days. Happy with that now. So, yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.